Hello everybody and welcome to what will hopefully be the start of a brand new series here on my channel. Alright, so what this whole series will be is uh, just a more simple version of me just playing some ultimate. There won't be a lot of heavily edited clips and stuff, it'll just be me playing in the background as I talk about whatever I want. I mean, I'll still edit it if there are times where I'm not saying anything or just nothing interesting is coming to mind at the moment. The purpose of this content in specific is to bridge the gap between my normal videos because those take me a few days to make, sometimes more. Like right now I'm working on something that's uh, taking a little bit longer. Just kind of serves to keep YouTube's algorithm happy and, you know, I mean, some people like my content, so hopefully this will be a new chapter of content to enjoy. Just decided to play Ridley because I haven't played him in a minute and film like it, so that's what I did. Other than that, this Ivysaur is having a heck of a time killing me and I am doing all right. We got E3 coming up in a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do like reaction videos or whatever to that. I don't, haven't done any of that before. I don't know. You know what? Maybe I will take this opportunity to get the live stream. Maybe I'll live stream E3. Maybe I'll just post some reaction videos. That's what YouTube likes, that, that sort of stuff, right? Dragon Tails, Dragon Tails. Come on. No, man, I haven't been really in so long. I don't know how to kill him right now. Perfect. There we go. The side B. That's always a good way to kill him. God, now we gotta fight a Yoshi. I hate fighting Yoshi in this game, man. Yeah, because of that right there. Especially as Ridley. I'm so big. He's very evasive. Very confusing how his down B can go through platforms, man. It's just, he's got a lot of tools, all right? He's a pretty good character. And oddly enough, his recovery is probably better than mine. Even though, like, he doesn't have a legitimate up B. Just, like, the double jump having armor on it really makes it strong. Oh, he took my jump and I almost died. But instead, he's going to die. And I will emerge victorious. So before, I was fighting Pokemon Trainer. And speaking of free big yeah, we're living, we're good. Speaking of E3 and Pokemon, got the new Pokemon game coming out. I'm not really hoping for too much. Uh, I haven't played Pokemon since X and Y, and I've never really been that serious of a Pokemon guy. I'm a very simple man. I like my G1 stuff, so as long as I can get my G1 Pokemons in there, I'm good. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of Dynamaxing. I don't see why not just keep Mega Evolutions, and I also don't see why he decided to do that. See, Dynamaxing looks lame to me because Mega Evolutions were very cool. They changed your Pokemon's design, they actually made it different, gave it different moves, changed the typing, and you could do it to only certain Pokemon, so it added like another layer of strategy to Pokemon's combat system. Whereas Dynamaxing is literally just, okay, take any Pokemon you want, make it big and strong, and all the moves are exactly the same and it doesn't change the typing whatsoever, now you just have a big strong Pokemon. So it's like, what's the point? Before it was like something you actually had to think about, you had to consider your enemies you know, team, your team, who on your team could Mega Evolve, what it gave them, what it took away from them, and kind of like make a decision based on all that information. Now it's just like, oh, okay, the other guy did it, so I guess I have to do it, because otherwise I'll be at a huge disadvantage. I'm dead. You know, ran out of jumps. It's the Ridley life, you know? Space Dragon running out of jumps. Ooh, that was clean, though. That's also the Ridley life. Oh, oh my god, I almost died. That would have sucked. Ridley's a very weird character in this game, right? He's got pretty good moves, and he's very fast, but offstage against, like, a character like Lucina, not the best. I respect them continually trying to do something new, like, as the Pokemon gimmick, like, Z-moves, Mega Evolutions, Dynamaxing, but honestly, Mega Evolutions was the coolest version of that. It basically gave, like, old Pokemon new versions, and I get that that's probably a pain in the ass to design around, but it just feels much better then, oh yeah, this guy's big now, and yeah, that guy's dead now. In conclusion about the whole Pokemon stuff, Dynamaxes are lame, the game looks cool otherwise, and Sonya is easy best girl. I adore her already. As for this video, I am probably going to be sticking with Ridley. I'll probably try to stick with characters, that way I don't like get my brain confused, but honestly, it'll probably just be more like whoever I really want. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, I teched it! Yes. <laughs> I'll be more focused on having a good time and just kind of talking rather than cohesively putting sentences together. And you gotta, you gotta understand, I'm not like used to that sort of thing, so give me a break if Sometimes I just kind of go into focus mode or get punched in the dome by this evil man. He's doing a really good job of not jumping immediately, which, like, something I really like to take advantage of with most Ganon players is they'll just burn their double jump immediately. Rollin? Yeah, that was a terrible decision, man. But sometimes we make bad choices. It's okay, though. Uh, well, I said sometimes we make bad choices. I didn't mean for you to kill yourself, dude. Continuing my thoughts about E3, my most number one game that I want to see, like my number one hope, is uh, is uh, definitely Evolve 2. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep, thank you, Buffer. So there's a game called Evolve. It was made by Turtle Rock Studios, the people who made Left 4 Dead, and it's just like, no, I know all about the suicide beat not happening. The game is all about four hunters fighting one monster, and, and it's all player controlled, so it's asymmetrical multiplayer. No, he went under it. 
And now I've paid the price. I've made the same bad decisions as him. There we go, there we go. Now we got him. Sorry. Had to focus down for a second there. It's okay. I can make this comeback. I've come back from worse. We just need to get a gimp on him. We haven't been getting gimps on this man. Yeah, there we go. There's the gimp that we needed. That's exactly what I was talking about. Not a whole lot of people know about Evolve. It was a asymmetrical shooter. Four players played as a hunter, one player played as a monster, and the hunter's job was like to track down the monster and kill it. It was a very interesting game, very fun game, but it did not do well financially, and so it got shut down pretty quickly. It went free to play before it died, and then the servers like got officially shut down for that, so now it's only peer-to-peer -peer on the original version of the game, and I highly, highly doubt anybody wastes their time playing that these days. Wow! The gonads. The gonads on me. Ridley has the advantage coming down when he's off stage, so my best bet is to follow him. And then on the rise, I could maybe get like a neutral air or forward air. Let's see. We got him over there now. And yeah, there we go. That's all we needed. Right, is he dead from that? Oh, okay, no. I should have gone out there. Ooh, he might be dead from that. I just saved him and killed myself. I think he was just dead, and then I went down there, gave him a method to come back, and also got myself killed at the same time. I disagree. I hard disagree with that range there. I really felt like I was far enough away. I just gotta keep away from the ledge, because he just keeps catching me with the with the side B. I don't want to be side B'd anymore. No, jump from ledge. Interesting. Now you're dead. Yeah, that is how you kill Ganondorf, man. Neutral B when he's coming back. Neutral B really has its uses in this game. It's one of Ridley's better moves. I think Ridley's main problem is his weight. If he were a little heavier, maybe like harder to combo somehow, he could be a potentially better character. His recovery is okay in certain situations, but then it's really bad in other situations. That was my fault. That was not my recovery's fault. You'd think it'd be like better than most of the cast because he's a freaking dragon and all that, but it's actually not that good because of the restrictive angles. His back air is really good, even though it's not original, and it's not Ridley. That was awesome. That was awesome. He perfectly, perfectly jumped over my forward air. He just let that rip, huh? Good read, dingus. Neutral air also is obviously a really good Ridley option to be using. Can I hit him with this? Wow, couldn't even roll in. No, no, no. No more stepping on me. I've, I've, I've had my fill of being stepped on for one day. Oh my god, that almost hit him. Yeah, so see, in situations like that, back air can be really, really good. Even though, like I was saying, it's not like a Ridley move. You don't look at Ridley's back air in this game and think, yep, that is something Ridley would do. It just looks kind of awkward. I really, really wanted my up B to come out first, but I don't always get what I want. So I have a feeling that sometimes he gets what he wants, but I don't know if that's what he wanted per se. Like, it's a fair trade, I guess, but I feel like one Ganon stock goes further than a Ridley stock. It's just my opinion. I used to think Ganon wasn't that good when I first played him long time ago for the Ganon experience video, but my opinion has drastically changed on him as a character since then. Just because of that move right there, dude. That move is so annoying. You want to talk about Ridley's neutral air being good? Ganon's neutral air is where it's at. Oh, I can't believe that. I probably would have died from that. I'm so light. Yeah, one more of those and I'm dead, man. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's like all his goal is right now. If he regains stage control at this point, I think I'm toast. This is my chance. I have to kill him right here. I can't let him come back again. All right, we just did it. We just booped him out. Playing this guy has really helped me see that Ridley is a way worse character than I remember, man. Like, there's been so many situations where he literally just throws out moves. Like, how did my forward air not hit him right there? I don't know. I don't I don't think Ridley's all that good. I like him a lot. He's very... He struggles. He's way too big. Um, he struggles to kill, like, better characters. He has an easy time killing Ganondorf, I think, because Ganon's recovery is so bad. I mean, shoot. Characters like Villager or, like, Isabel or someone who can reliably recover from something like that, he has a much harder time killing. This guy's really good at recovering around my nair. I will give him credit where credit is due. I don't know what the play was right there, man. He should have done something. That's like the fourth time that's happened to me, and I want it to stop. I don't want to land on his down B anymore. That meant to be run up side B, but I ended up running up um, down smash, which was probably not the right option. Zone him out with forward tilt. Yeah, that's worth it. We take those. Oh, cool, and whatever he did canceled, canceled me out, so I lived. Nice. Wow, he made it back from that. Impressive. Oh, that was just supposed to be a forward tilt, not a forward smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you want to use all the smash attacks in the book, man. We know the Ganon strats here. Well, the recent Ganon strats anyway. Yeah, I have to kill you. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed. Oh, and he killed me for it. Man, overconfidence was my downfall right there. All right, no more going off stage. He's at 153, one stock. I'm at two stocks, 0%. So no reason to go off stage and risk dying for some stupid reason. Poke him with the forward tilt over and over and over. One thing we have over him is the range of the F tilt. One singular fireball this time. Usually I charge it up. That's the mix-up. Give one singular fireball. 
double dash attack. Sometimes the easy way is the right way. Lots of fireballs. Is he gonna jump? No, Ooh, he actually went for the side B. He hasn't tried that in a little bit. I've been playing with this guy for a while, so I think I'm getting a good grasp on him. I like his play style. I wish he could talk to me. Like, imagine a world where Nintendo games online were like other actual online video games. And by that, of course, I mean the online was good to any sort of degree. Like, I can't talk to this guy in any way, shape, or form. It's just not something Nintendo is okay with people doing. And I understand, like, they don't want the little kids that play the game to, like, you know, get harassed and stuff. But I don't know. It gets to the point where it's just like, you gotta, you gotta let go. You gotta relinquish some control. Just like that. You gotta meet someone halfway. Respect online intelligence or conduct. Because they're just so far in the past with it that it's mind-boggling. I mean, what? Super Mario Maker 2? Can't play with friends online? Only random strangers? I don't know, man. It wasn't that big of a deal before you had to pay for the service, but now that they want real money from the service, I feel like they, they owe us better. You could say I want my money's worth for a product. Isn't that a weird concept? Well, my Ganon pal left me, so I think I'm gonna call this video right here. Let me know what you think of this sort of format in this video. I'm gonna try it out for a couple weeks, see how it does. If it doesn't do too well, then maybe I'll come up with something else. And if it does well, then maybe we'll continue it. I don't know. It all depends on your guys' feedback, though. So let me know what you want to see in between my main staple ultimate experience video type of deals. And I will try to do my best to provide the content that you guys deserve. So thanks for the support, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Of course, before I go, we gotta thank my Patreon supporters. So thank you to Sneaky Snick, Ryan C, IGW Turtle, Rex345, Merton, Clankier, my mom, Eric Zeta, a posse, Trill Sailboat, Royal, Mafioso Mickey, Feelin' Stabby, Duck, Senna the Senna, Tallish Sadbino, Mellow Yellow, Big Snack Zack, Suck, Zima, Mesterfest, Black Melon Knight, Nightfall, Eve, Drear, Captain Alex, Robrono, Zucat, Shoxley, Carpador, and Ice Cold X. Thank you all for your support. Support. Helps me out a lot. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter and find yourself on this calling card at the end of my videos, head over to my Patreon page. Links can be found to that in the description below. And make sure you guys all have a fantastic day.